badge or a hard hat and a hammer. The two greatest actors of our generation. He could lose it all at taking his case. You want to risk that? Yeah. Have fun together at last. Sounds like fun. <laughs> Righteous Kill. Righteous Kill, 2008, starring Al Pacino, Robert De Niro. They get back together here, uh, and I really like this film. Uh, you know, this is back together since Heat, and I, I really like this film here, Righteous Kill. It really gives me that vibe, but there's something about the way it's shot. I think it's the story and the plot line, the cinematography that lets me down. It's really plain Jane to look at. That's the problem here. I want to see more uh, cooler camera shots. I want to see more cooler uh, production design, but we don't get that here in Righteous Kill. That's what fails us, because they I guess they pay so much money to Mr. De Niro and Pacino here to carry the movie and sell the ticket that they forget about actual uh, movies, <laughs> making an actual movie. So that's where the movie fails you. So they're just relying on actors. And they do have that, you know, a couple of 50 Cent in here and a couple, maybe one or two other people you might recognize, but nobody to hold it to De Niro and Pacino. But it's a cool story. I just don't know why it's not fully realized. That's the thing here about Righteous Kill. It feels like it's not righteously realized. Uh, the plot, the full circle, it comes comes full circle at the end, they explained it all, they reveal what's happening here in the story. I don't want to ruin it. You have to see the movie. I do recommend a one-time watch, but not buying it. I did own it myself personally. That's because I'm a big fan of Pacino and De Niro. If you're a fan, go out and grab it and see it immediately, because these two guys put together such chemistry in anything they do. Uh, but the movie fails in a lot of scenes, like I said, because of what there is to look at and where they are, and you not you get disinterested. And the only thing keeping you engaged is De Niro, Pacino, and the plot, if that. So so Righteous Kill deserves a one-time watch. Uh, you know, you're getting these two legendary actors together. Why not watch it? But, you know, back then it probably didn't make enough money, and I'm sure it didn't uh, today. But uh, they play it once a time on TV. But anyways, Righteous Kill, watch out for the kill, and no kill is righteous. Uh, that's, uh, that's why they did Righteous Kill or Kill Righteous.